Hey there! <laughs> Welcome back to my little show. <laughs> Welcome back. I wanted to do um, a really crisp spring look that is different from my normal style. This is more of a, a cut crease kind of thing, you know? Um, it's how I used to do my makeup all the time was a cut crease. I do still like a cut crease, um, but also I do love a blown out smoky eye. So this is just something that I was inspired. There's one day a year in Arizona, Phoenix, that there is spring. The rest is summer. <laughs> um, so if you want to see how I created this look, here, come a little closer, I'll just take you in. I used a Mark Avon eyeshadow palette that I stole from my sister-in-law, Ashley. Actually, I traded her for a real mirror because she never used this palette. And she goes, but it's my mirror. And I'm like, I'm taking the makeup and I'll buy you a mirror. So I bought her a mirror and she loves the mirror. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> if you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. So let's do this. I'm ready to get fresh with spring. I'm going to take a Amazonian clay palette that I got a duo a long time ago from Tarte. And it's just neutrals. It doesn't have a title for what color it is. I apologize. Some of my collection's older than normal. Hmm, who to thunk? Taking a flattish brush and the cream color. And I should have said, as usual, my foundation and eye primer and brows are done. Just, just making myself an eyebrow highlight here. Yes, yes I am. And then I'm just kind of flicking the brush on my elbow, and I'm going to take that taupey color, taupey, taupey color, and blend that in. This is my transition shade. Transitional! But Sam, you haven't done an inner corn highlight that matches your eyebrow highlight. I know, craziness, huh? I'm not just a one trick pony. I swear to you, I'm not just a one trick pony. Mm -mm, I'm not. Watched a couple episodes of Bones to catch up. I forgot that I had on demand where I could watch my programs without having to go to like my sister's Hulu. So I went to my on demand and found my Bones. Yay! Yay for on demand. Sometimes I forget what I have. <laughs> kind of like in makeup. You gotta look around. Kind of like in my yarn collection. I gotta look around. Just kind of blending that up. Cause I'm taking my time. I like to take my time. I like to take my time and do it right. I like to take my time and do it right. A palette from Mark. And let's see. Um, we want to go in with... I don't know if I can read this right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sepia. Sepia. Can you see that? Sepia. Right there. Same brush, just on one side I'm going to sweep into my crease. I'm doing this a little different, ain't I? Yes, I am. I hope you like it. Get up with a little more product, making a little line. Not making it too big, but I'm gradiating. Gradiate. There, see? All the way into my little corner. Isn't this unusual for me to do? <laughs> Actually, this is how I used to always do my makeup. So I switch things up all the time for myself. And I was just looking, thinking, you know, I only get one day of spring a year here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm gonna pretend like it's spring on my eyeballs. So here's my mud. <laughs> we had our one day of rain last week. Oh my gosh, one day. I know I'm blessed to live in such a non-volatile during the winter kind of weather, but it, when it's hot, <laughs> when it is hot, it, how do I describe it? My mother once described it as oven burning the nose hairs off your your nose hot. 
like it feels like an oven. I'm just setting that down for a second. I'm going to grab for my NYX uh, eyeshadow base in white and a little brush and we're going to go in there and put it gently and precisely. Precise. See, I can be precise. to that brown line. When I think of spring, I think of Sunday Easter dresses. And my mother used to do me up to the T. <coughs> she <coughs> could be one of the girliest girls you'll ever meet in your life, even though she doesn't wear makeup. When it comes to hats and gloves and purses and bows and flowers and aprons and pinafores and rumba pants and tights and pumps, I got the treatment. <laughs> Gotta imagine her dismay when she discovered that her tomboy, me, who was a dancer, but was a tomboy dancer, uh, preferred masculine colors or more masculine colors and preferred to wear oversized clothing that didn't fit her um, and preferred flip-flops just getting the inner corners pretty good with that milk see I'm taking my time this time see I like to take my time I like to take my time and do it right I like to take my time and do it right <laughs> can you see how that looks that's right I look a little clowny all in good time. I will fix it. Just tightening up my color here. Set that down. I'm going to grab for a rounded C brush. This is from Elf Professional. They have not bad brushes. We're going to go in with the color Pool. Pool. Which is this turquoise color here. And we're going to pat that into the milk. Maintaining our crisp, crisp line. Crisp, crisp line. And just over two-thirds of the lid. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, still coughing. Spring means pollen. Pollen means allergies. Allergies mean non-stop coughing and sneezing and zvitzing. Okay, flipping that brush over, taking the color glistener, glitterati, excuse me, <laughs> and I'm just going to get some on the other side and press that into the inner third of our eye and on top of the tear duct, making that nice ombre effect. Blending the two together. Grabbing uh, for a beauty multitasker, which is a la a q tip. I'm just taking off a little excess of that milk that I didn't need there. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I want to take a little bit more of that um, sepia and make sure I got it on the correct side of the brush and just make sure I am sharp to a T. Deep, deep, deep there. Deepen it up. Cleaning up any flow over of said uh, crisp line. Sippy, sippy. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so. On the under eye, I'm going to take this Milani eyeliner in Bliss. There it is. Easy liner in Bliss. It's hard to see the reflection. And I'm going to tilt you down because I really have to get in there.
making it pretty heavy. Twisting. I had this one Easter dress my mother got me. It was white, Swiss dotted chiffon. I had to wear a crinoline with it. It's this underskirt that poofs it up. And I had to wear a pink three inch bow wrapped around my body with a hat and a bow, gloves, a pink purse, pink pumps. And this is when I was like eight years old, nine maybe. Okay. Got that there. I'm gonna take my Rimmel Scandalize in light blue and use that in my water. Making my eyes turn red. That's all right. We don't care. They'll go away. All right. So that's the look so far. Kind of different, huh? Now let's take um, a liquid liner. I'm going to use this black liner by CoverGirl that came from the Bombshell line. And I'm going to line my lashes. With it. That's a pretty good liner. I have a brown one I might get. Did I do that all ducked over? Did I do it all ducked over? I'm sorry if I did. Q-tip time. Q-tip time. Again, Q-tip time. Q-tip time. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And I'm going to do a wing. So I'm going to screw this back on because I love the screw thing. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. And stamp a line right up. in. Make my wing. And fill it in. Right there. <laughs> Sometimes I think wings look goofy on me, but you know what? I don't care. I decided that I was going to take some more of this bright blue Milani and put that back over the light blue. I wanted more turquoise down here. Yeah, like that. Okay. <clears throat> Letting that dry a little. Let's work on our uh, blush. I'm going to use my Bella Bomba. Mine is totes busted. Totes busted. So <laughs> it gets way too much on the package. pretty though. I like it. I've always liked it. It just shattered on me though, which makes me upset. Blush. All right. Let's curl them lashes up. What? What? <coughs> Coughing like I have the plague. You see them stick? It's because I forgot to wipe the liquid liner off the tips of my lashes. Sorry about that. That was bizarre. Stick. Alright. <laughs> I still got lashes. Uh, cover girl. Uh, be a bombshell. Bombshell volume. <sighs> Unscrew the can of coke. Let's get some of this stuff on our eyelid, okay? Eyelashes. Alright, so I wore this mascara eight hours straight today. And I'm in love with it so far. I really am pleased as punch.
Please just punch. Please just punch! Getting those under lashes. Alright, let's do side two of this face. Not of the mascara yet. I'm not ready for that. It didn't flake on me all day long. It stayed curled all day long. It stayed black as pitch all day long. Didn't like turn gray or oh, stick me in the eye like that. All right, so I got an injury. Sorry. Injury, eyeball down. See my eye turn red. That's right. Beauty must go on. It'll heal. I got two of them. Right? <laughs> oh, Sam, the red in your eyes makes your eyes look bluer. Second coat. See, I could easily want to attach eyelashes to this eye look. But I like the way my lashes end up looking like with this mascara. I'm so pleased. I actually went and bought myself a backup. I had a coupon. Do side two. Let's do side two. Yes! Side two. All right, lashes, I got the lashes. Oh, what fell out of my head? Oh, I had this in my hair for Kim, it's a spoolie. There, put that back. All right, righty dokie, um, gonna do some shimmer. Got my Physician's Formula Light Bronze Pearl. Gonna drop my Light Bronze Pearl, if I'm not careful. Grab me for the corner of a blush brush. Shimmer down my nose a little. little on the tip. Cute head. Upper of my cheek. Little center. I'm so easy when it comes to like contour highlight because I don't do it very often. And for my lip look we're gonna use a wet n wild lipstick in It's a Girl! I think it's a pretty pink. Pretty bright. I don't like the pink. Sorry. I don't know if it's because I have a warm undertone in my eye look and I'm just like, eh, the pink's not working. But I'm going to grab for a different one. Yeah. My little box of lipsticks here. Okay, this one is within these adobe. Yeah, I like that better. Got more of a coral kind of hint to it. That one's also by Wet n Wild, by the way. I need back my box of lipstick. All right. I could be finished. I could be, but I wanted to take a little bit of this pearl dust and I wanted to just tap it on the inner corner. This one's from Ulta. Okay, that's the look. <laughs> um, let's see, let's go forward. That's how I look from a distance. I look very sculpted. See, I've got a spoolie in my hair from my friend Kim. Spoolie! <clears throat> let's go closer. Yeah. It's different for me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it's very pretty, though. Very wearable. I think you could wear this day or night. Coral lip. Other way. Don't look at my nose. So, if you liked how this tutorial look went, let me know. Um, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, comment in the space bar to this direction, I believe it is. Over here, or over there, or anywhere you see the comment bar. 
rate it, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, that'd be great. Um, I do have plans for a giveaway pretty soon, and I will be announcing that um, eventually. I'm still planning it. First time for a giveaway, so I gotta do all my research. Um, it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.